uh, Will Ethereum, uh, Spot ETFs unleash a new wave of animal spirits, uh, and a recent ex formerly Twitter post, a crypto analyst known as the DeFi villain, uh, made a bold prediction uh, suggesting that the approval of Ethereum Spot ETFs by the uh, United States Securities and Exchange Commission could reignite the animal spirits in the crypto market. This term is often used to describe an irrational exuberance and optimism that fueled financial markets. The DeFi villain anticipates that the approval of Ethereum spot ETFs could lead to a resurgence of the bull run altcoin season, driving renewed demand and positive sentiment in the market, potentially resulting in a bull market. The analyst highlighted a long list of altcoins that experienced remarkable rallies in 2021, propelling their market capitalizations from mere hundreds of millions to billions in just a few days and months. December 15, among the cryptocurrencies highlighted by the DeFi villain, some notable altcoins recorded massive rises in market capitalization, including Dogecoin, Thorchain, Filecoin, Binance Coin, Axie Infinity, Shiba Inu, and others. For instance, Dogecoin witnessed a 10x increase in one day in January 2021, while Rune's market capitalization surged from $200 million to $5 billion in just five months. And Filecoin almost reached the current market capitalization of Ethereum, jumping close to a whopping $400 billion during the altcoin bull run in 2021. Additionally, Axie Infinity surged from market capitalization of $200 million to $10 billion with its fully diluted value topping $43 billion at some point. Even popular meme coins like Shiba Inu rallied hard, jumping from $4 billion to $40 million in less than a month. That, uh, and a DeFi villain has predicted that the final leg for meme coins is likely going to be vertical and brutal, suggesting that these volatile cryptocurrencies could have another powerful rally to new highs this market cycle. Uh, and then an ETF approval uh, nullifies SEC's previous security claims. Uh, uh, over the past few months, the U.S. SEC has made claims implying that Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency, was considered a security. However, following the authorization of Ethereum spot, uh, ETFs, the SEC, has finally recognized Ethereum as a non-security. This has led to questions about the SEC's regulatory clarity and inconsistent approach to different crypto assets. Uh, Paul Grewal, chief legal officer of Coinbase, pointed out the contradiction, uh, highlighting that if Ethereum, which lacks contractual agreement or undertaking, is no longer considered a security by the SEC, then Bitcoin, which operates similarly without the above agreements, should also be considered a non-security. Grewal also raised concerns about the classification of 12 other cryptocurrencies questioning the SEC's possible lack of regulatory clarity and inconsistent approach to different crypto assets. In conclusion, uh, the anticipation surrounding the approval of Ethereum spot ETFs and the potential impact on the crypto market has sparked significant discussions and debates. As the crypto landscape continues to devolve, the implications of regulatory decisions on various cryptocurrencies remain a topic of great interest and scrutiny. And now a short joke about the subject. Why did the cryptocurrency go to school? Because it wanted to be a little bit more bite-sized. Uh, with that said, uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.